Before we explore the details of index structures, let's go through the file organizations we can have using the index data structures we briefly introduced and quickly review at a high level the cost of operations for each of these file organizations using a simple and a straightforward cost model. This will help us have a ballpark comparison in mind while looking into further details. We are going to consider the file organization such as a heap file, which is a file with data records stored in no particular order. Sorted file, in which a file is sorted based on one search key. Clustered plus tree file, which means the file records are clustered based on B plus tree sorted organization. Heap file with an index, which is in form of an unclustered B plus tree index. And a heap file with an index, which is an unclustered hash index. To have a way of comparing the costs, we need a cost model, which is simple, but can provide a fair estimate. We are going to use the cost of specific operations in terms of execution time and use breakdown of tasks involved to estimate the cost of scan, search, insert, and delete operations for different file organizations. To do this, we use B to denote the number of data pages when the data records are packed, meaning there is no waste of the space between the records of data. We use R to denote the number of records in each data page. We denote the average time it takes to read or write a page with D, and the average time to process a record with C. Processing a record includes operations like comparing a record field to a constant value. We also use parameters that are useful only for certain index operations and organizations. For example, h for the average time required to apply the hash function to a record in a hashed index, and f to denote the fanout, which is the average number of children for a non-leaf tree node. At this point, please pay attention that some of these numbers are orders of magnitude larger than the others. For example, D, the average time to read or write a disk page, is orders of magnitude higher than C and H. Therefore, you will see in some cases how we will ignore the comparably smaller parts in an equation for simplifying our estimation. First, let's start with the easiest file organization, the heap file. As we discussed earlier, the records in a heap file are stored in no particular order. To scan a heap file, we need to retrieve each of the B pages in the heap file. This will take B times D, since the average time to read a page is D. For each page, we need to process R records. Therefore, we need to process total of B times R records, and processing each record takes C seconds. Therefore, the cost of a scan operation will be B times D plus B times R times C, which we can write as B times D plus R times C. Note that, as we discussed, R times C is orders of magnitude smaller than B times D. Therefore, in the estimate, we can only use the B times D now, for a search with equality selection. We know that the distribution of the records in the file is uniform, as the records are stored in no particular order. If our search is unsuccessful, this means we scan the whole file but we do not find a matching record. And therefore, the cost would be similar to the scan. However, if we are successful, given the uniform distribution, 
On average, we will scan half of the file to reach the desired record. And therefore, the estimated cost of the operation is half of that of scanning the heap file. Similarly, in this case, R times C is comparably smaller than B times D. And we can ignore it for simplicity of comparison. For the search with range selection, for example, a search for all records with the values of field greater than 1 and less than or equal to 10, all the records on a heap file should be scanned. This is because in a heap file, the qualifying records may appear anywhere in the file. And we have to scan the whole file to get them. In a heap file, we assume that the records we add to the file are added to the end of the file. This means that the last page on the file should be read and then written back with the new record. The cost is 2D, which is for reading and writing the page, plus C, which is the average time for processing the record, which is insert here. Again, the value C is negligible in comparison to 2D. And finally, delete. Deleting a heap file needs finding a record to delete, loading the page that contains the record, performing the record processing, which is removing it, and writing the page with the deleted record back. This is cost of search plus C for record processing plus D for writing the page back. Assuming no additional work is involved, in maintaining the packed format, which is an assumption for simplicity. For the search component, the time it takes for the search depends on how we define the record to delete. If it is indicated by record ID, it would only be D to get the page that contains the record. Otherwise, for example, if it is specified using an equality search, the cost will change accordingly, both by cost of search and by the cost of number of matching records to delete.